I can't believe it. He's won for the second time. Donald Trump is now the president of the United States of America. What do you think about this? As the saying goes, when America sneezes, the world catches a cold. Now it may be a flu. So what impact does this have on the rest of the world? And if you are watching in America, who did you vote for? What do you think about this? Trump's ethos is to put America first. So what does this mean for NATO? Is he going to pull America out of NATO? What impact would this have on Europe? Well, it would cause some instability. Um, it may show some weakness to people who oppose the countries within NATO, and it may encourage them to be more hostile. During his campaign, Trump has famously said that he would end the Russia-Ukraine war within a day. How is this possible? He hasn't got into specific details. Is he going to side with Russia um, at the expense of Ukraine? What impact would this have? What ramifications would this have for the rest of the world who see this happen if it does happen? He has promised to solve the conflicts that are happening within with Israel and Palestine. And again, how would he go about achieving this? And what implications would it have for surrounding countries? Trump is not fond of China, let's put it that way. So how would this affect Chinese products coming into America? Would he increase a price? Would he increase the tax on these products? Therefore, would these companies have to then increase the price for these products to other countries around the world? So as we can see, Trump coming into power has certain ideologies, especially putting the interests of America first, which is not unusual for a prime minister or a president to be thinking about their country first. Yes. But it's more about how he comes across. He comes across as being a wild card. You're not sure what to expect. So you won't have the status quo, as you would imagine. And there may be things that are unpredictable. So this can lead to opposing people in power. They are not sure what to expect. This could keep them on their toes. But converse, conversely, it can lead to a lot of instability. Trump is a supporter of Bitcoin, so he seems to be quite progressive. Um, I've read that he, is, he has plans to put billionaire Elon Musk in charge of an audit of governmental waste. So if Bitcoin within America is set to increase, this could be a good time to buy Bitcoin. But of course, do your, do your research. So the people that have lots of Bitcoin by Trump being elected as the president, this is good news for them, very good news for them. What impact does this have with the UK? Well, the UK, as we've seen, is on the decline. And so they are hanging on to the coattails of America, trying to negotiate trade deals. And it's in the best interests of the British Prime Minister to keep relationships smooth with America. So Britain can have a smooth export and import of products. However, we can hypothesize that Trump will not be investing in Europe and leave Europe to fund its own defenses, which if you think about it, the, each country should be able to fu fund its own expenses, its own military. Um, so I can understand from that point of view. However, in terms of the world, it leads to more stability when you have a country with a large military presence supporting other countries. Again, it can be a deterrent to other countries. And quite simply, I'm amazed that 
he has won. From an outsider's perspective, looking in, it looks like a bit of entertainment. He looks to see he looks to be a larger than life character and this ethos about running the country like he would do a business, it's a good slogan. And I can see how people can be seduced by this way of thinking. Um, especially being elected for a second term. So I think if Harris had won, there would have been more of the status quo. But perhaps people were feeling that things needed to change and think people are extremely desperate. So let me know, what do you think about this? How will it impact the world? Will it cause more problems in the future? Or is it something which will change the world for the better? I think in terms of his own legacy, he'll go down in history. There will be people learning about his presidency, his ability to win the second election, so he will be remembered throughout history. And for someone who has lots of money, who is incredibly wealthy, the next step is power. And this is the, the ultimate sign of power. His slogan of America First seems to be um, in line with his first slogan when he first ran for presidency, which was to make America great again. And it's very interesting that these advisors who supported him in the first election have come out and, and have called him a liar, a fascist and unfit, which is quite damning when you think about it. These people worked with him during the first election. So it's a bit worrying when you think about it that way. He is also surrounded by a cloud of controversy. He has criminal charges related to his role in the Capitol riots, how he handled documents pertaining to national security, and hush money payments to a porn star. So there's quite a collection there of allegations. But now the Supreme Court has ruled that the president has total immunity from prosecution for official acts in office. So it's going to be very difficult to convict Trump. And this would have been a huge driving force to do whatever it takes to become president. And this can contain making sweeping statements, making false promises about ending wars in a day. So it was in his best interest to become president because he is immune from prosecution, which is a huge motivation. He did not manage to implement all of his plans in the first term. Now with a second chance and having less people criticizing him and surrounding himself with more yes people, it's a bit scary to think about what he can actually do this time. Let me know in the comments, what do you think about him being the president? Do you have hope for the future? 